Mum and Dad, they were totally taken aback when I said what I'm aiming for is to be the first woman to sail single-handed non-stop round the world. And they were both speechless for a bit and then they started with their questions. Finally they said, OK, and my little nan who gets seasick, looking at boats, said, I'll oh, leave her alone, I reckon she can do it. I just didn't have a clue. In my mind, it was like looking down a tunnel and there was the happiness and there was tears and there was absolute terror. The worst night in the entire voyage was off the Cape of Good Hope, which is known as the Cape of Storms, actually. I was blowing up to 50, gusting 60, and I've had an hour and a half leap in three days. Totally out of control with no sails up. And I nearly lost my life three times that night. And I can tell you, your life does flash before your eyes. It's amazing. But I survived it, and I would do it again at the drop of a hat. She finally sailed into the history books just after 12.30. When I got back, I actually said to my girlfriend, what are all these people doing here? Because as we went into Darling Harbour, there were hundreds of thousands of people. And she said, they're here for you, you idiot. And I just started to cry. I said, what do I do? What do I do? And she said, just wave. So that's what I did. The 1988 Australian of the Year is Kay Cotty. It was announced at a lunch on Australia Day that I was the Bicentennial Australian of the Year and still couldn't believe at that moment, even when I was presented with the award by Bob Hawke, I couldn't believe I was the one that was chosen to be Australian of the Year. Humbled and bewildered by this great honour that's being bestowed upon me today by the country that I love so much.